Poppy. Yeah. Hi, Poppy. He's the cutest puppy. She is. And he's so fluffy. She is. And now he's swearing on my toy, which is not possible. I don't want my puppy to eat my teddies. She's okay, not guys. gonna eat your teddies. Little dude. We're like he's only buying the toy off of this. Yeah, well, we don't want her to eat your teddies. You know what? Let's get the puppy a puppy collar. That will help him. Let's get a bark collar. No, let's not get the bark collar. She's not barking. This is Daddy you want to mess with my teddies. She doesn't want to mess with your teddy. Send me one of their Madonna YouTube loopers, which allows you to control YouTube videos using your feet. For example, play and pause a video, advance a video ahead five seconds, or back it up five seconds, or even slow down the video. The coolest feature of all, the looping feature.
As of right now, we are in a tornado warning until 8.45. Oh, I have upped it. This is currently a tornado warning storm, y'all. First one of the season. Enjoy.
scared of sound. What is going on in me? Hey, it's me, your skin. Some cleansers get us clean, but take my moisture. CeraVe cleansers help me maintain my moisture. See, listen, I told you it's about done. Yeah. And my thing is about 100%. Well, that's good. towards an eastern jaw here over the past little bit. I've kind of noticed that. And if we can go back to that velocity couplet there just to the south of Whitesburg, you can see what I'm talking about. So this is close to the Cumberland area here. So here is a storm and some good news in the past little bit. The velocity signature is right here, but it doesn't look as well defined as it did uh, coming through Harlan County. So we could be getting a little bit of a weakening change here with this storm. That's great news as it continues pushing off to the east. And again, here is the border. I want to say this is the border to uh, Wise County, Virginia, Virginia, as it pushes off to the east. So again, this is the possible tornado close to the US 119 corridor here in southern. Lecture County, and that will continue moving off to the east, and that will also stay into account that we're watching out for that storm for Wise County, Virginia. So if you live in northern Wise County, that does not include northern, that does not include Wise And we are currently in day between Weisberg and Kings Creek and Roxanne. We're like right in the middle. 10 to 15 minutes ago, coming out of Parma County, pushing into Lecture County. So that's kind of the, the latest there, at least in my opinion, Jim. Well, your opinion counts because you're the meteorologist here. Well, I am too, I guess, but I'm not on the level of you. We're talking about nine counties. I was just uh, tallying them up there that we have tracked this storm across, maybe not to the entire counties, but certainly a portion of them from Morgan County, Tennessee, all the way now into uh, Kentucky and portions of Virginia. So nine counties as uh, this system continues to move, as you mentioned, Cameron, 
it does look like it's moving more easterly. I think that's why Whitesburg is getting the break. Well, not getting the brunt of this as it's moving just a bit south of Whitesburg, which uh, makes it more of a, an eastern trajectory here for this system. But uh, again, we're dealing with this severe thunderstorm morning in the Manchester Clay County area. That's coming across the Howard Rogers Parkway and uh, laying down some very heavy rainfall. And we're talking straight line winds in that system too that is creating some real dangerous conditions in portions of Clay County. That continues to move up the parkway heading almost to the eastward uh, motion as well. Cameron. Yeah, let's try to zoom in to Northern Wise County if we can. And I think that is really who's next in line with this system. Again, Pike County, Southern Pike County, technically yeah, close to the north area. You're I'm included in this tornado warning, but I do think the bulk of the action will stay kind of in this Southern Letcher County, Northern Wise County, Virginia area. So next in line is the Pound area, and this is in Northern Wise County. So nobody should be driving on well, US 23 from the Kentucky Virginia border to the Pound area. Everyone should be off the road and everyone should be out of their mobile home. Go to a more substantial shelter. You cannot be in a car or a mobile home during a tornado warning. And again, your possible tornado would be in the southwestern flank of this storm right here, just to the south and east of downtown Whitesburg. Here is the the Kentucky and Virginia border on my finger, but again, this is kind of approaching the border over the next couple of minutes, and that will be more of a Wise County, Northern Wise County storm, especially in the Pound area. Let's take a look at the velocity if we can, Jim, and that'll show us the wind pattern with this system. And again, that's going to show us a kind of a velocity signature that's lost its kick. And notice, uh, if you remember back to when it was near Harlan, also Cumberland and Evers, it had a pretty tight circulation, especially close to Cumberland. But right now, though, it's a little bit left, a little bit messy as it pushes out of southeast Kentucky into southwest Virginia. And again, this is the state border right here. And your possible tornado would be somewhere in this region. But again, the the velocity signature is not as as tight as it was and as some good news as this storm is possibly beginning to weaken after it pushed through several counties in our coverage area but again that will continue moving off to the east so just because it's weakening doesn't mean it can't re-strengthen so that doesn't mean to not take it seriously go ahead and go to that safe place if you live in extreme southeastern Letcher County, close to the Virginia border, into portions of Northern Wise County, I do want to stress that does not include Norton or Wise or Big Stone Gap. This does include the city of Pound, though, and that will be next in line. And really, that circulation is very close now to the Kentucky and Virginia border, right here, kind of where I'm circling. That'll be the tornadic circulation. But again, it's really not looking as. Because I'm done with my popcorn now, so he's an ass. Because wait, I'm popcorn, popcorn. So maybe we can get a little bit of a weakening trend with this storm over the next little bit as it pushes out of here and uh, we kind of, you know, take a deep breath and get this one's out of here. But yeah, I wasn't saying this baby was so with you, was it? I was just... Campbell County. Because of the popcorn, I was saying. The catch is here. The sun set just before 8 o'clock, so we're uh, getting the darkness now. That's creating uh, a little bit of a danger of its own with these systems, and that's a big advantage uh, for these to be dying down for all of us here in the mountains and the WYMT viewing area. This system over the Manchester area is a very slow mover. We're thinking probably about uh, 20 to maybe 30 miles per hour. So it's training. Uh, by training, we mean it's like uh, the reins on a stationary bike. It's not moving. It's just staying over one area. That's what it's doing here in the Manchester, Clay County area, dumping a lot of rain there. But that is a severe thunderstorm warning for that area. But the area of focus has been this supercell that is uh, keeping its way up the spine of the Appalachians. It's Got it. It's a 50 to 60 mile per hour straight line wind. It was moving, we thought, about maybe 50 miles per hour. Hello. I think it's slowed down some since then, but it's into its ninth county. county yep, county. sure am. This supercell began in Morgan County, Tennessee, uh, just across the Tennessee. Yeah, Virginia thankfully Virginia. it took a... Across <laughs> Scott County, Campbell County, yeah. Tennessee, portion of Claiborne County, then Bell County, Kentucky. Sure, uh, we hit Carolina luck that County, it bypassed it us by a little bit, and we're at the border, the border of Virginia County. now. And now it's working its way into Letcher County, portions of Wise County, a little bit of Pike County, and also uh, touched the southern portion of Perry County, and it's tracked up the yeah. east side of the Appalachians here along the Country Music Highway, and then Highway 20, uh, Highway True. 19 as well, as it's approaching the Jenkins area. 
Looks like neon. Yeah, we we're watching it too, but it looks like luckily the worst of it's bypassed Weisberg. Jenkins Neon. Yeah. Jenkins and Neon right now is getting it. Yeah. I hope not. Alrighty, hon. Bye bye. No, that was Daisy calling to see if we were watching the news on here. Her to see that it was coming right at us on 9:31. But right now, the worst of it has bypassed us. Now we're still in the rain loop, but we're out of the severe part. And so it's pretty well canceled for us. Jenkins to Pound. I would not want to be on that road either. 
And again, if you're in town, you're also under that tornado warning. So you also need to be in your safe space if you live in northern Wise County, especially close to the Kentucky and Virginia border. Let's go to velocity really quickly, Jim, if we can, and we'll kind of show what the wind's doing in this storm. Again, it kind of fizzled out there for a minute. Let's see if it's kind of coming back and not really. I mean, there's something close to Jenkins, but it's not as well defined as it was. Yes, so, yeah, the weather. Yeah. To the north and east, and here's Jenkins. So again, here is your, your couplet. Your possible tornado is somewhere close to Jenkins, really sitting on top of Jenkins, that rotation is. And again, it's not as well defined as it was. That's good news there. And hopefully this will continue to weaken as it pushes off to the east. But again, until the warning is, ex the warning is expired or canceled, just be sure that you are in your safe space or hunker down. They already said that Facebook. it's pretty well canceled for us on this side of Letcher County. County. It's those on the other side of Letcher County is still under it right now. Until this warning is expired, also the watch is expired later on this evening. Jim, if you want to take over for a second, I'm going to... Look at something really quickly in Slack, and then I'll kind of go back in. Real quick. Okay, let's do this. I'm a ham radio operator, KD4 PKQ, and some of the ham radio operators are responding uh, from Harlan County, uh, saying that the storm cell has moved out from the location in Baxter. Uh, they received uh, a little more than a half inch of rain, some minor street damage, uh, no other damage. That's from KM4 CTJ. That's, uh, he's located in Chad, Kentucky, reporting the storm is over in his location. And he's getting heavy rains and lightning and uh, no other reports at this moment. Uh, Ten amateur radio operators, also ham radio operators, one of the same, uh, checking in throughout the Harlan County Skywarn network. And uh, they are continuing to track weather in that area as well. Uh, thank you, uh, fellow ham radio operators. Uh, we are tracking the storm now in its ninth county, which is... Uh, Wise County and Fletcher County lost count. We have uh, nine counties that this storm system, the supercell, has tracked through. Uh, it was uh, probably about 5 o'clock, and Cameron was watching radar down in Tennessee, in, Bell, in uh, Morgan County, Tennessee, in a community called Sunbright. He uh, was watching this system as we're zooming into that area. Uh, Lansing, that's an area in Morgan County. And this is where the storm all began. This is a supercell in the Sunbright area where we picked up on that. And this system tracked its way north and east starting about 5.15. So we're more than three hours into following this one supercell that has uh, set up tornado warnings all the way in its path uh, from Tennessee and Kentucky across into Bell County. I think maybe about 6 o'clock. It's been a little more than two hours ago. It made its way into Bell County. It's a slow mover at about 30, 35 miles per hour. Then it did pick up some speed at about, we were estimating, about 50 miles per hour. It's movement, but it is laying down a lot of heavy rain, also some large hail, and then, of course, the damaging winds, straight line winds in the neighborhood of 60 miles per hour. And darkness has settled in here probably about 20 minutes ago. That's making it a uh, dangerous situation. But we're watching this storm system begin to run. It has been very impressive Hello. as it has stormed its way up the Appalachian spine. And then the other system that came out of Tennessee, this was in the Fentress County area of Tennessee, oh, okay. uh, bordering with Kentucky. It came across the state line into Wayne and McCrary counties. It uh, kind of made a, a bit of a button hook as it uh, came north and then headed east across uh, portions of Somerset, actually um, portions of London, and that area came up through Monticello, and now it is uh, along the High Rogers Parkway in Clay County, heading towards <clears throat> Leslie County, along the parkway. Uh, this it was is, the uh, same uh, one that has been playing the Code Red on, on but... Eight o'clock is already over with. Kay said that had a tornado warning was in effect to eight o'clock. Well, it's eight twenty-four now. Well, ain't much longer now. But in Harlan, a tornado and golf ball-sized hill has been reported in Harlan County. Yeah, but the same storm that also dropped that in Harlan is now over towards Neon and Jenkins. So, the tornado storm that hit there is currently in Jenkins, heading towards Virginia? 
uh, once we clear tonight so it's already away from us right time. now it's going to give us some really way but until it's completely canceled they are going to continuously so call and remind us five, about the warning the until the warning is completely <laughs> over Oh, that is nice that they came up with the code red call so those that don't have cell phone alerts like I do or TV alerts that they also get the alert of, hey, um, bad weather. <laughs> Well, that is some good news. Letcher County is now officially out of the tornado zone. Well, they've officially canceled the warning for us, so that's good. And we'll kind of kind of toss it out. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So you can see there, this is looking back, and you can see some pretty dark clouds back there. Hard to see. Very cold days. We do not Jerry chase storms in eastern Kentucky. Tornado we have just some Letcher County is officially nice canceled. Not nice in terms of storm chasing terrain. We have fields. I'll go ahead and call her back. That's really hard to see anything because of those dark trees. Um, and that's where the scene that it looks like earlier this evening as that tornado one storm is pushing through the Cumberland area. But again, some great news. And all clear for Letcher County from that storm. We are tracking a, a severe thunderstorm warning for portions of Leslie County, Clay County, Perry County. But again, Hello, I was going to let you know they just gave Letcher County the all clear. We are currently out. It is. Yeah. True. They're saying that we could still get hail or rain. But the tornado part is now moved out of our region. I am too. You're welcome, on. Bye bye. She had just seen it on her TV. Because she's watching the news as well. You have multiple ways to receive warnings. Now, here's the thing we have no more. Tornado warnings. We're coming up on 8:30. So what we'll do is that 8:30 we'll kind of send it back to regular programming as we have no more active tornado warnings. And again, but again, we'll be here all evening, all night if we have to until this cold front passes. And again, this is the back edge of the severe weather. Once this passes, we are done with the severe weather threat. But until then, we are going to keep an eye on this and kind of keep you up to date as we go into the rest of this evening. That tornado watch does continue into 10 o'clock this evening for Eastern Kentucky. And that will continue until 2 a.m. for those counties in West Virginia, also into Virginia, and into Northern Tennessee. Now, if you're watching us, we have one severe thunderstorm warning for a little bit of Perry, Leslie, Owsley, and Clay County. But again, that's the only warning we have on the board besides that severe thunderstorm warning that's close to I-64 in Moorhead. But there could be more warnings as we go through the rest of this evening. So it's very important that you download that first of our weather app and you have multiple ways to receive warnings that's a free app you can scan the qr code on your phone and download that for free to keep up with the forecast and also to have the latest radar the watches the warnings the app videos that we send out daily and also you can send photos on the wint first alert weather app so a really great tool to have especially when we have some active weather but right now some great news the tornado warnings have expired we have no more in place could we see a few more? It's possible. Again, the, the risk is not zero, so it's very important that you kind of keep up with the forecast as we go through the rest of this evening. We're coming up on 8.30, and we will send you back to regular programming here shortly. But again, I just want to say one more time, be sure that you keep up with the forecast this evening. And until this cold front passes, 
the threat for severe weather is not over just yet. A tornado watch is in place through tonight, and we have that level three enhanced risk also in place until that cold front passes our region. But if we have a new warning, we'll be back. But until then, have a great Tuesday evening. Stay weather aware. For Jim Freeman, I'm Cameron Aaron in the WYMT First Alert Weather Center. Oh, God.